Hi, welcome to the Bride Links DIY YouTube channel. I'm Alexa with Events with Alexa, and today we have Lindsay from Custom Love Gifts, and she's showing us four easy ways to use burlap for your wedding. Can you tell us the four ways you're going to show us today? Yeah, the four easy things that we're doing today, and these are so, so easy. The first one is a burlap vase with little button details. The second yeah. is a kid kit. The third is our Love is Brewing coffee bag. And the fourth easy one is our burlap bow tie with a chevron detail. Oh, cute. Awesome. Let's get started. So, Lindsay, what project are we going to start with first? First, we can start with our burlap bow ties. It's a really cute idea if you want to add it to utensils or you can decorate it in a lot of different ways. Oh, great. So, what do we need for this one? We need some utensils, party napkins, ribbon. This is two and a half inch ribbon, and wired ribbon works best. Jute twine, scissors, and the stapler. Awesome. And that's it. Okay, well, let's get started. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do is just lay down your utensils and your napkins like you're just doing a regular utensil roll that you would do for any oh. picnic or party that you're having. So what you're going to want to do is lay your little ribbon flat and just so you know this is actually wired ribbon and so it helps a little bit maintain oh. the shape of the bow and so we're going to fold the bow in half then fold that half back. I'm not very good at this. So okay. basically what we're doing is pleating okay. and then fold the other half. So you have kind of a little stack of burlap right here. Pinch the middle and you're going to take a stapler and just a quick staple. Okay, I'm going to give you some jute twine so you have some for yours. I did mine crooked but that's okay. <laughs> well you can always trim the bow so it looks a little bit straighter. So what you're going to want to do with the jute twine first is just take your bow, tie a knot with it. And this is how you're going to attach the bow to the utensils. We are going to lay them flat against the utensils with the jute twine and pull it, wrap it around. Now I like to tie this in a bow in the back because your guests are going to use these utensils so if you try to double knot it or do anything to really get the bow on there it might make it a little bit difficult to actually use the silverware and then that is cute burlap bow ties awesome so. all right let's move on okay to the next one what do you want to do next uh, the next one we can do is our burlap vase we have a finished one here we chose to do a little button detail on it um, this one in particular has some um, paper that we did underneath of it. Okay. We're not going to do paper this time, but it is an easy way to add a little pop of color to it if you're using a particular color other than uh, the burlap that you want shown off in your wedding. Okay. So to start off with this one, you are going to need some strips of burlap. It's up to you how wide you want it to be. It just depends on what you want your vase to look like. Okay. Um, we have some buttons for a little bit of a button detail. And I have a hot glue gun also to attach the buttons on there as well as gluing the burlap to the can. Okay. Um, I don't have it with me today, but I actually spray painted these first with Rust-Oleum hammered paint because it kind of gives a hammered texture to these cans. Oh. Um, you could use any paint or any color that you think looks best with the decor that you're doing. Um, knowing that we were putting the burlap around it, I was a little lazy and didn't worry about painting this because <laughs> nobody's going to see it. Probably matter. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is just take our little strip of burlap. Do that. I think it's always easiest to start with a little bit of hot glue on the burlap or on the can. Just right smack in the middle. Go all the way around. I'm going to do a little bit more hot glue. Now you have the burlap base for the vase. You want for some reason. Uh, humans are attracted to groups of threes. Yes. They think th groups of threes look better, so I choose to put three buttons on mine, but you could really go crazy with it. You could do a single button if you wanted to, a line of buttons all the way around, or just three buttons. Um, we'll just put two on here, side by side, and see how that looks. So I put three all, all stacked up. All stacked up. And what it just depends do? on your wedding. I just oh, did two. Cute. And you could also have every every vase be different. And yeah. You know, just 
do as many as you want. Okay, well the next one that we're gonna do is a kid kit and it's super simple. What a kid kit is, is it's a way to keep children entertained at a wedding for as long as possible while staying seated before right. they start doing cartwheels on the dance floor. And uh, we've got these cute little burlap bags that we saw on customlovegifts.com and you can put little tiny toys in there, little oh, necklaces. This is a fun toy. <laughs> I can't get it to work. I think it's adult proof <laughs> for me to Buddy, use. Just wait. Kids will love this. <laughs> okay, anyway, so you're going to want this. You're going to want one of those. Okay. And what I did was I just went to the dollar store, the party section at Walmart, yeah. and just went through and got a lot of cute little things. Um, um, and then I always include a ring pop because I think it's cute to give kids always. a big old ring because the, the bride's getting a ring too. And then you can do construction paper and crayons and have them make a card for the bride oh. and groom if you want or anything that you think That's they would be That's a good idea. Thanks. I love that. And so what we did with ours is we tied a little wooden heart to it and wrote Kid Kid on there. You could also write each individual child's name if you were going to have... There's yeah, one, one for made. made for Evan. For so Evan. if you know where Evan is going to sit, then you can yeah. put one at his play setting. And I really think parents will appreciate this because mm -hmm. if their children are taken care of and having a good time, they're more likely to stay longer at your wedding and enjoy for themselves. Sure. Sure. So the more the merrier. Absolutely. Okay. Well, that was really easy. Mm -hmm. I know I can do that. So. <laughs> um, now, where do we get the bags? The bags I sell them at customlovegifts.com okay. and also in my Etsy store. You just search for custom love gifts and my Etsy shop will pop right up. Okay, great. Okay, what's the next one? Next one is our Love is Brewing uh, mini coffee bag favor. And so the first thing you're going to want to do is just put some of these coffee beans in a coffee bag. Now, if you're not really into coffee or you just don't want to have whole beans that you're giving away, you could also do a Love is Brewing bag with tea bags in there. Oh, that's so, a or loose idea. tea. So that's another that's option. A great idea. So once we got the bag together, the only thing that we did to decorate it is we took our mini wooden scoops that we also sell on customlovegifts.com and I tied it with ribbon. You like it? Like a little scoop? Okay. I tied it with ribbon all the way around the bag. I made a really, really simple tag to go on the bag. Um, this is actually just something I printed off with cardstock. Oh, I cut, easy. Yeah, yeah, I cut a little rectangle and I used a hole punch to go through with the ribbon. And then I tied the scoop in with a little bow. So it's a little bit more difficult, I would say, than the kid kit where you're just putting stuff in a bag, but it's still super easy. And again, it's one of those favors where if you have your bridesmaids help you, you could be done in just an hour or two. Awesome. Thanks for watching the Bride Links DIY YouTube channel. Again, I'm Alexa and this is Lindsay from Custom Love Gifts. And Lindsay, thank you for coming to show us easy ways to use burlap for weddings. Thanks for it's, having me. Sure. See you next time.